and it's had it's hurt my grandchildren mm -hmm. and that's what i'm so concerned about in a statement, President Biden said, quote, I, the president, don't and won't comment on pending federal cases, but as a dad, I have boundless love for my son. Hunter's trial tax crimes is expected to start in September. We also now know when a Georgia appeals court will hear arguments to remove Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis in her office. The former president and his co-defendants are public pushing for Willis to be removed from the case because of personal relationships she's had with special prosecutor Nathan Wade. Arguments are set for October 8th and stem from former President Donald Trump's alleged efforts to overturn Georgia's 2020 presidential election. The appeal will start to delay in the start of any time in the trial. Toyota is also apologizing this morning for a cheating on vehicle testing. The Japanese automaker is also suspending production on three of its cars because of the deception. The fraud involved to the use of the outdated data and collision tests, the engine power tests and airbag inflation and rear seat damages to the crashes. Toyota says this, this admission does not affect the safety of the vehicles already on the road. All right, when your community news, it's Global Running Day, and Danielle's got one way we can all celebrate while dressing up. Yeah, European Bicycle Day, yes. Global Running Day. Okay. Worldwide. Going around the world. <laughs> on a bicycle. No, no, actually, we're putting our tennis shoes on for this one, oh. but I also hope you have cowboy boots. Uh, okay. It's a weird combo, but it's going to be fun. All right, sounds fun to me. Let me tell you. Okay. <laughs> Jeremiah, we are talking about a very special running day event with participants dressed up in their best cowboy and cowgirl attire after the fact. This is a Western throwdown after we do the 5K. Uh, I think Jessica's going to be proud of us for trying to this one, okay? This honor, well, but this day actually is going to be allow us to honor Texas style running. We're gearing up with our boots and the spurs. Yes, you're welcome mm -hmm. for that one. And we're getting ready for a party. It's going to be hosted by the folks over at the Valley Running Company. Great folks over there. And they're doing this in an effort to help our 956 residents get active and help, you know, just uh, let them lead a way of healthy lifestyles. Okay. All ages are welcome. It's great. It's going to be different prizes and surprises for all of the attendees, uh, as well as snacks and water to help you cool off. Uh, running is, of course, not only great for your physical and your mental health, but it's a great way to enjoy the fresh outdoors and, of course, explore our local community. It also helps us to build strong bones, strengthen our muscles, and helps to maintain a healthy weight. On top of the fact that an effect like this in general is just a fun way to meet other local running lovers from within our community. So I mean, all in all, a terrific time for sure. Now, the Cowboy Running Party is going to be happening tomorrow at 7 p.m. And you can sign up for the event by visiting all events in McAllen. It's going to be a great time. Now, in case you're wondering what this means, you yes. get your tennis, you yeah. run, you change into your boots, you party. Okay. Clear? Okay, good. I wanted to make sure we weren't running in boots because <laughs> yeah. that doesn't seem safe yeah. or For the ankle. effective. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I want to make sure we're getting the support we need. There you go. Uh, sounds pretty fun. You could run in uh, like your hat and stuff. Though. That hey. could maybe no, just, just hold it down. Yeah. Or you'll running. need Might to get like ready. a tie, tie it on or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, very true. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I was thinking about like pants. Like. Oh, yeah. Hmm. You can't run in jeans. I mean, you can run in so jeans. So just change everything. Nah, after. yeah, you either got to change, you got to go, you know, run in the Full tire out. with your boots. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And your spurs. Which I support wow. that. Yeah. Like the Vaquero, uh, oh, oh, what's it? The guy? You're so right. Yes. Wear that outfit. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Oh, hmm. Let's do it. I don't it. know if I can make it. I'll probably pass out. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Danielle and Jeremiah promised me that we were going to do the five, do a 5K together. I don't remember so. this. Prove it. Promise? Oof. Yep, That's they promised. You guys, you guys didn't hear word. what they did. So Okay, wow. This Saturday, 7 a.m. This Saturday. Yeah, let's 7 a.m. Let's mm, do it. Well, um, see how my schedule works. Yeah. Is that, um, yeah. I probably just won't no, be there. No, no. Don't want to disappoint you. I tried, you guys. Got to feed mm. the the yeah, cows. gotta feed my <laughs> and the horses. cell phone. Yeah, so <laughs> gotta so wash my. Well, iPad. if you like yes. to run, this sounds yes. like a very fun event, <laughs> guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh -huh. gotta Good for you. take out my uh, yeah. game hairbrush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. new boy. Got things to do. So yeah. sorry, I, I'm just I very busy. <laughs> Maybe next weekend. Busy day. You never Maybe know. next weekend. Mm -hmm. Well, I have another thing that we all definitely like that we can all participate in today. I do. I feel like it deals with food. It deals with food. We and like it deals food. with Taco Tuesday. <laughs> so as you guys are making those lunchtime plans, we are going to be in the mid to upper 90s as early as noon. Remember, we all have a heat advisory right now. And at 1 p.m., the Upper Valley will kick off that excessive heat warning, so it feels like temperatures can reach 180.